So here's our Blitz game number eight. Here we go again. Black pieces. Sicilian defense. <clears throat> See if he lets me go into my pin variation. Uh, now we play the bishop line. He's looking at like quiet, close Sicilian lines, which is fine with me. Uh, a6. Uh, there's a point to this one. Now he's preventing that with his B. Nevolent A4 move. It's a good move. So I don't gain the tempo on the bishop. Queen C7. I'm building up some pieces guarding the E5 square so he can't push and threaten that knight that I just moved to F6. So I can get my knight to F6 quick. Spinning it. Knight B, D7, defending the knight, and also guarding E5 again. He castled, his king looks safe. I'm going to move my bishop out here. He's attempting to establish a really strong pawn center, which is not going to bother me much, um, because I'm going to play B6 in each case, and I'm going to be able to support myself. Now he's locked up the queen side, and he hasn't castled yet. Um, wait, sorry, he already castled. I mean, like, I'm going to be able to castle now the queen's eyes locked up, so I'm going to be good over there. And then I can pawn storm on the other side. Won't be too hard of a win unless he <clears throat> manages to own me in the center. Put pressure on his bishop. If he, if he wants to exchange on c5, that's fine. And my rook's going to be opening as his queen, too. Okay. His bishop moved back. And then he forgot about that pawn, too. That's really good for me. I'll take the pressure against his queen. Take that fork. So I'm gonna win the exchange. Queen moves. Uh, I takes. Okay. Let's move bishop. <laughs> more material. Um, just have a little fun, I'll play that move. So I take that knight. I have awesome pressure still against his d1 queen on the d file. Once I move my knight, I can take this bishop. Not in check or anything, so it really means that he's facing a hard, hard game. Slide over, get my king safer, and now he shouldn't forget about his queen right here. Once he moves his queen, I may be attacking the loose bishop with my own queen, and then start moving towards some mate threats, depending on where he moves his bishop. And he moved it out there. <clears throat> yeah, so basically, I can uh, get some diagonals open and stuff open with this pawn sack on c5 if I want to. It's a little bit of a gambit, though. Um, honestly, probably is better just to take the subtle pressure for the mate threat. He's already defended against it, but then his queen's going to get tied down. And then I'm still able to play the c5 move, which is not 
a pawn sack anymore, but I can pin his rook and win another exchange. Uh, he sacked a knight for a pawn. He's, he's grasping at short straws here. There's nothing for him. Check. On the rook. That's good, that's good. And then you see here, he's not threatening anything. Always look for the threat. Check him. Actually, yeah, I'm going to push this pawn. Um, really just looking for checking him now. A diagonal. And even though it can block, my rook's guarding that square. Let's see. Uh, he's facing some difficult decisions. I can just come in and do this. He doesn't have a way of defending that knight adequately. Check. He's still running a couple insidious things. So Move here with my bishop. Up time. Really sloppy game. Uh, he played very unaggressively. And now I'm able to put my pawn one square away from queening. Get this queen. take like that. And I'm actually going to threaten mate here. <clears throat> I don't think you can prevent the mate. Another game for me, it wasn't that hard, I was close to saying 